What's up everyone, I'm Thanos and today we're taking our garlic bobs and visit the Villa of the Vampires. So, let's dive into this box and see what's hiding inside. Let's get ready to roll these garlic bobs. The deserted villa is awaiting the great vampire feast which is held there every 19 years. But what's this? The age-old vampires are still snoozing peacefully in their coffins. You slip into the role of the vampire kids and try, with the help of three vampire bats, to steer the garlic bulbs into the right graves of the vampire villa and wake up these old vampires. But where exactly are the well-off vampires who will bring you a lot of vampire points hiding? Who can collect the most vampire points with skill and a bit of luck? and end up as the winner of the game. The Great Vampire Feast is coming up and it's time for the dozing vampires to wake up. But how are we going to wake them up? By pushing bulbs of garlic into their graves, of course. So, the goal of the game is to collect as many vampire points as possible. But remember, the vampires in the rectangular graves won't give you many points. The ones who will are the well of vampires in the expensive luxury coffins. So, pick your vampires wisely. The player who collects the most vampire points wins this fun fantastic game. Before the first game, build the three floors of the villa and snap together Countess Funk and Count Garlic. After the game ends, you can leave the floors as they are to have it ready for next time. But also, I think this villa will serve as a beautiful decoration for your room. Before every game, fill up all nine graves in the vampire villa with the right gravestones by placing them face up. First, show them to your fellow vampires so they will try to memorize in the individual symbols and then turn all the gravestones face down in their respective graves. During setup, you can select the normal game, in which you place the garlic bulbs in the three different starting places, or the more advanced mode, which is to place them all in the same space. Now, a tip for the young vampires. Play on a low table or even on the floor. The youngest player starts by taking the role of the first vampire kid. The player to the right gets Countess Funk and places her in front of them. In their turn, the vampire kid pushes as many garlic bulbs as possible into the right graves with the help of the vampire bats and all this before the time runs out. So, take the hourglass, turn it over and place it quickly in the middle of the vampire villa. Then roll the die and perform the action in the villa. Keep rolling and be fast so you can roll as many garlic bulbs as possible. You roll the die. Did you get a cat or a spider? You can roll a garlic bulb into one of the respective graves. Did you get a toad? You can push a garlic bulb into the higher grave at the end of the villa, but only one in each round. Did you get the crown? Countess Funk is the only grown-up vampire who has been awake for some time and she can help you prepare the feast. Once you get the crown, you can choose one of the following actions. You can either push a garlic bulb into any grave or you can roll a garlic bulb onto the Countess Funk's heart-shaped carpet. If the garlic stops on the carpet, your fellow players give you Countess Funk and place her in front of you. But if she's already standing in front of you, then you choose to perform the first action, which is to push a garlic bulb into any grave. Remember that you can use the garlic bulb that you successfully rolled on the carpet and roll it from there into a suitable grave after throwing the die again. You stop rolling the garlic bulbs when the hourglass runs out or when you have successfully pushed all three garlic bulbs into the right graves. 
Well done, you little vampires. You can now wake up those dozing vampires. Pick up all the face down gravestones, the ones that you have placed a garlic bulb on and place them face up on the table out of the villa. You can immediately take the gravestones that don't have the crown symbol on them and place them face down in front of you. However, the gravestones with the crown symbol are really special to the Countess Fang who wants to keep them. So, look where Countess Fang is standing. These gravestones always go to the player behind her, so that player keeps them face down in front of them. And this is the end of the round. For the next round, put the three garlic bulbs in their respective places. The player who is last to play fills all the empty graves with new gravestones. And now it's the next player's turn. When preparing for the next round, if there are not enough gravestones to fill up all graves, the game immediately ends and all players turn over all the gravestones they have collected. The player who has collected the most garlic bulbs gets Count Garlic and earns 4 points as a reward. Players count all the vampire points they have collected and the player with the most points wins the game. Well, this was my story of the Villa of the Vampires. I will take my butts and fly away. Until next time, take care and remember, only a vampire can love you forever.